Okay, we're live. Now, let's get this over to the door. Here we go. All right, that should help with the volume a bit because that was a bit loud. Uh, okay, so I think I've got everything working with being able to monitor the chat while I'm doing this. I've been having a lot of trouble with my phone. Uh, using it as a second screen is not great, but I don't have a second monitor right now. So we do what we got it. Anyway, this is the return of the Little Inferno stream, wherein we, uh, we light things on fire to not think about how terrible it is that the weather is awful outside and that everybody's smokestacks may or may not be contributing to it. And yet we can't seem to tear ourselves away from the entertainment box right in front of us. So, games! and not reality. All right, we got a whole new shop. It's called Shop and Awe, and we can buy stuff from it. All kinds of stuff. Okay, so we're buying things. We're gonna light them on fire, and then we're gonna see what combos they allow us to have. Originally, this would have been my time to stream Pyre, but uh, everything changed when the Sleet Nation attacked, as it were, and buried us under three inches of snane, and it's terrible. Alright, so what do we got? We got an elegant moustache. We got a bear trap, yikes. We got a sport ball. And we've got dynamite daisy. What are our combos that we can work with? Pollinating. Hmm. I don't know what any of those have to do with it. Hmm. Oh, hello! Hey, the raid has happened. Hello, raiding party of Don't Starve Together people that I was just talking to. Lovely to see you here. I had a little bit of trouble getting started, but we should be going now. Oh, so many spinning emojis. I love it. Uh, all right. Pollinating. Let's see what we can... Well, first, let's get this out of the way. Let's light some stuff on fire. Because that's what we're here to do. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, and Hanapingu also raiding. Double raid. Double complete raid. Couldn't hear... Um, can you hear me any better now? Let me check my input. That would be important. It should be hearing me. But I don't know. Okay, can hear. Good. Yes, yes. Excellent. Oh. Little guy. There we go. All right. Glass cards. I drill a chain. Th Whoa, that looks mean. Man, the trophy is this one thing men like. It's another men's muscles. There's some truth in that one. Hang on. Alright, so this is kind of stylish living. What do we have in here that I can use? Where's that bear? Oh, you had the tab mute. Oh, that'll do it. Man, wow. There's, there's a lot of emotes going on right now, and it's impressive. I appreciate y'all. There's the bear. Alright, what else we got? Cat bath combo. Hmm. Yeah, I think I gotta unlock some more stuff to get some of these. We'll see. Where those glass cards are going to be important. Hang on. Bear. Oop. Bear. And bear trap. <laughs> yep, a skin rug combo. Yeah. All right. That's right, there was the cocoon. That's the one I'm looking for. That's gonna be used for pollinating. 
probably already see it soon. I have a letter, but I'm I'm hesitant to open it yet. I'm gonna do one more combo and then I'll open it. It could be anything inside that letter. Look at it dancing around down there, begging for my attention. Okay. Yep, there's pollinating. That's it. Alright, let's see what this is. Oh, it's from Miss Nancy. Oh! Little Inferno was designed to be a warm and safe toy for players of all ages. Please refer to your information fun packet for a list of helpful safety tips, including number 24. Fire is not for use outside of your Little Inferno fireplace. That would be dangerous. And copyright infringement. Love, Miss Nancy. Crisis management line, where was that? There we go. Midlife crisis mitigator. Two glasses before bedtime, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Just what the doctor ordered. I forget if this is anything. I'm going to try it out. So folks in chat, how are you holding up with the storm? Is everybody doing okay? I know that a lot of us were hit by it and uh, hopefully nobody had to go outside and do anything today because it's a big mess. No, I know at least Artemisia did. Uh, but she made it back, which is important. Mostly sleep and grossness. Agreed. That horrible snane, as they say on weather is happening. Commute was far too long getting home. Yeah, I believe it. Jeez. Have to go tomorrow, but not today. Yeah, follow the plows. Yeah. Hopefully by tomorrow it will be less bad, right? Because it's going to stop, I hope. Fingers crossed. Ice tomorrow. Oh, no. All right, let's see if this is anything. Oh, how do I even melt the glass? There we go. Medicated midnight combo is the thing. Okay. So I got part of it. That's cool. What's the next one I need to do? Cat bath. Okay. It's rain oh. Dish detergent, right. That's so Oh, uh, the gross cat. Here we go. Can't have anything be cute. <laughs> All the ice. Ice on snow is bad. Yeah, it was freezing rain. Yes, dinner is important. It's important to have food. 
He reminded me it's important for me to also consume other things besides food, so liquid will do for now. I mean, it takes effort to burn a freezing rain cloud. It is not easy to do. But the good folks at Tomorrow Corporation have found a way. go there's the cat it's gross pooping that's gonna happen <laughs> and there's let's hope a bath for it yep cat bath at least it burns up easy oh hey one of those stickers floated away in a soap bubble. How rude. Alright, so that's cat bath done. Alright. Next one is clean plate. We have plates, right? That's a thing. Somewhere. Yeah, there we go. There's plates. Oh, I can't tell them more bubble hug yet. But soon. Alright, what's the next one to work on in the meantime? Orchestral combo. That's gonna be the cello for sure, but what else? Oh. Of course. Operatic as well as orchestral, but you know, whatever. Uh, no, it was not a live cat, thankfully. No live animals involved in anything here. Well, I say that, but I don't know. So I mean, none of the stuff we've burned yet has been alive. Well, other than like some of the bugs. we got okay I do like I do like the little you hear the orchestra tuning up thing that's very cute have I played unpacking no I want to get it at some point I'm excited to um, it's silly because you're just like wow and this this is part of the thing it's on my list of games that I want to play, you know, as part of my late night streams that are very chill. Uh, just because it's like, you know, if you had told me even even six years ago, uh, no, I know, it'll be back on sale again at some point, and I'll catch it then. I have an isthereanydeal.com alert for it. So, um, but yeah, no, uh, games like Unpacking, games like Power Wash Simulator, which is also on my list. Uh, like, oh, it's made of feels. Oh, see, this I didn't know. I thought it was just low-key. Uh... This is like how I learned that Chicory A Colorful Tale is one of the best games we're dealing with, like, managing depression and the weight of expectations and all kinds of other fun stuff. Um. Okay. So the band is ready. The talent is ready. Alright, let's see if we can get two combos at once. Nice. And... Nice. Very good. Oh, wow, 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 hang on, hang on. So it's a story and it's amazing and it's worth the 20 bucks. It really, really is. You cried. Okay, so it's on my list of games that will that will make me feel feelings, of which I have several. Uh, and it's good to know that that's one of them. Okay, let's see here, what else can I do? 
Moonlight Melody. Well, that's gonna involve the moon, clearly. The moon. And honestly, since we just got it, probably the shuttle. Alright, what else? What else? What else? <laughs> Have several feelings, yes. Just a couple. Uh, pill Popper. Makes the popper part. <laughs> Hadapengu does indeed have so many feelings. Feelings enough for everybody, really. Alright, I gotta hang on to those because I think there's gonna be some other stuff in here. What else do we got? What else coming down the pike here? Hana, I don't think, did play Unpacking. Uh, oh, that's a good idea for an emote. You need one for, for feels. It's very important. You weren't sure you could handle it before you knew that? Why? It's just a game about unpacking stuff, right? Oh, there's the gravity of the moon. Oh, it's nice to know that it has good representation. Without having any people in the game. That's a that's no mean feat. That's like St. Thomas was alone level stuff of like having good representation despite the characters all being quadrilaterals. Okay, that's actually kind of poignant. Okay, what else we got in here? So we're almost ready for that pills one. I just gotta figure out what the last thing for it is. Hang on. Uh, you may be a better of watching someone else play through it. You watched Hi, Hello, Rachel, and it was amazing. Oh, cool, cool. Man, that moon's still burning. There we go. Luna de Linda Est, as Lord Hyde would say. Almost done getting these. Whoa. That's pretty good, actually. Hang on a second. Where's the juicer? Where's my juicer? Is it this one? Yeah, here we go. Nice, the juicer got juiced, as it were. That's fun. Heh. <laughs> Whoa, that thing just exploded. Okay. Alright. Did that unlock? A Pumbachak hand, that's cool. Manly Odor Spray, Game Bush. Uh, 
Ah, shoot, I didn't want to put that there yet. Eh! Don't burn yet. Not ready. So I desperately hold it up above the fire. So as to not get singed. Is that the only two? Yeah, there we go. That's kind of cool. Okay. I think there's one for Uncle Sam's Blam Blams and Miss Daisy. And if there's not, there should be, because I'm sure somebody ships it. Ships it like tomorrow, Corporation ships all this stuff to your house. All right, let's see if sparks fly. Yeah, there we go. Some dynamic chemistry there, to be sure. All right. What else we got? Timber combo, okay. Well, that's gonna probably involve the lumberjack hand and the chainsaw. Oh, and the Manly Otis right probably there. I mean, that would make sense, right? Oh, maybe the Manly Razor too? We'll throw that in. Only about five and a half hours. Oh, you see, I like a short game. Yeah, I will, I will almost certainly pick it up on the next sale. Lord knows I have enough games to get me through until then, though. Including enough feels-heavy games. I guess I haven't played Last Day of June. I still haven't played Life is Strange. Oh, there's a lot, but... Artemisia, you laughing at the fact that I have too many games. I mean, it's it's true. I do. I wouldn't even say I have too many games. I'd say I have not enough time in which to play them. Hey, easy now. We'll start the party too early. What was the thing that I just got? Oh, was the lumberjack hand? Okay. I have to wait a whole minute for that? What a jerk, chainsaw. I did see, yes, The Sims is one of those games. It's like uh, Genshin Impact is another one where I'm like, yeah, no. I do not have time. <laughs> oh, a lot just happened in there, and I don't know how to feel about it. Well, in the meantime, what else can I work on? Poker hand. Oh, I bet that's gonna be uh, this guy. So I, gotta wait, I gotta wait for restocking. Everything I need is on order. Curse you, global supply chain. Alright, well, these are the most stable thing in there, so I'll put these in now. singed but it's okay it's still good it's still good i 
But yeah, as to as to the thing about games with feels, uh, the the record holder for me in terms of uh, a game that had me ugly sobbing by uh, by one particular point in it uh, is a game that I can't recommend to a lot of people just because it is too like too real, too literally real about a lot of stuff. And that's a game called That Dragon Cancer, um, which uh, yeah deals with. Uh, well, I'm sure you can figure it out. Uh, and if you ever want to just, like, sob forever, play that game. Alright. Yeah, it's a, it's a game that, um, if I remember the details, the developer is a husband and wife team, and they were the survivors of one of their children who got cancer at a young age, and it's kind of their art therapy way of moving through that tragedy in, in a way that makes it like abstract enough to be accessible and yet also incredibly deeply personal and it's this amazing piece of art but it is not to be taken lightly at all like it is heavy stuff uh yeah exactly yeah no hanapengu you're not allowed to play that game Okay, so I'm missing... What am I missing? Okay, so we've got the Manly Otis Spray, we've got the Lumberjack Hand, we've got the Glass Cards. I think the only thing left to do is throw in the Drill Chain Thrower, but let's start everything on fire first. Oh, and it still didn't count it. Oh. Unbelievable. Right, well, before you burn up. There we go. Now we got the timber combo. That was frustrating. Alright. Okay. <laughs> oh good, not at all the feels that I'm packing has. Wonderful. Yeah, no, I mean, as I said, that was that was just the game that had me ugly sobbing the most in any video game. And indeed, maybe any piece of media has ever done. Um, which is a hell of a thing to think about. Uh, Alright, let's see what else we got. Duck season, huh? It's these two. <laughs> I would see. Come on. How long do we got left? All right, let's see what the game bush looks like. Oh, that's cute. I like it. I might buy one in real life, honestly. Hey look! It's the same bush. Ah! And ducks flew out. I love it. But you can't light the ducks on fire. Genius. Alright, hang on. Can't get the game bush again yet. Yep, duck hunt indeed. Oh, I like the noises it makes. That's great. Oh, it burnt up and stopped making the noise. Still 35 seconds left until I can get another one, though. All 
right, we got our bear trap here. Ten more seconds on that. Oh, hey, wow, we hit maximum money and maximum stickers. That's cool. At least I think we hit maximum money. I'm not sure. But since we've got maximum stickers, let's burn a couple on this. Is it duck season or is it bear season? Who knows? Nuclear shave combo. All right, well, we know that's gonna involve a manly razor for shave. Probably not unstable ordinance though, because they said nuclear, which means everybody's favorite snook. What else can we do? Manly was in the next one, I think, right? Yeah, manly things. This is going to be done by manly guys. Last Ember is gone. It's a lot of things to express ship at this point. But I guess each one is only worth one, so. There we go. Nice, new gross shape combo and manly combo. That's what I was hoping for. Love it. Back to full. All right, what else we got? Brick and mortar. All right. Oh, I got an unstable ordinance. And bricks. I see what they did there. What's the next one? Texting girl. Okay. No self esteem action doll. Teetering in the corner of every bar and every fraternity party. Hey! Wow. They sure did do that. I mean, I assume that's just the fictional Tomorrow Corporation being awful and not actual Tomorrow Corporation being awful. Throw some bricks in. Oh, all the buttons are hearts. How precious. Wow. <laughs> I have concerns. Alright, I worry that the unstable ordinance will just go off immediately, so I'm gonna start everything else first. <laughs> yep. Sorry. You have reached a number that is no longer in service. Man, I wonder how long it'll take Unstable Ordinance to go off. There we go. Wow, it didn't do much damage to the bricks. Oh, there we go. I was about to say, not much of a bunker buster, but then it was. All right. Yikes, indeed. Quite so. All right. Sorority party combo. Oh, I bet I know what that means. Where's the wine? Oh, 
Oh, I'm wrong. That's interesting. Hang on. It's a very different kind of sorority party. Girl back. There we go. Not explicitly a sorority girl, I suppose, but still. Hey, boys. And the booze wasn't even part of it. Well, that is pretty creepy. Yeah? All right. All right. What else we got? Chain puffer. Oh, okay. Puff pack. Okay, it makes sense. Oh, I got too excited. Okay, okay. Oh, we got a letter. I was about to say, I didn't think I had too many things. Let's see what's in the letter. Oh, it's from Miss Nancy. Ooh, you're such a good shopper. There's only one catalog left. They go by so fast. But what happens after that? Have you enjoyed yourself? Mmm, wee! Love, Miss Nancy. Gambling. Smoking. Speaking of creepy, yeah, Miss Nancy is a little creepy, it's true. It isn't even necessarily Miss Nancy that's creepy, it's what she represents that's creepy. Or whom she represents, which is to say Tomorrow Corporation. Alright. Smoking, drinking, gambling, and then eventually chainsaws. Uh, um... Chain puffer combo too. You know that chainsaw is a hard one to work with. All right. Legal charges combo. All right. Interesting. That's amazing. So that's going to be the legal briefcase. Freeze bomb protein. Protein. I love it. Um, legal charges. I'm thinking batteries. Let's see. Oh no, they probably mean the other kind of charges. this mess out of the way. Alright. 
So we got two different kinds of charges. And in a moment. We've got the legal. Whoa! That wasn't cool. Hang on. Let's try that again. There we go. Oh, that money burns good, doesn't it? Alright. Injection combo? Oh, I'm scared now. couple of them here. Alright kids, get together like you like each other. Bodybuilder combo. Did we not get the other one? That's weird. with all the moths or whatever. Try that one again. Can't retry it again just yet. So let's work on whatever the next one is. Deafening combo. Oh, so that's probably going to be what, like the mini nuke and what else? Oh, no, of course. Okay. Sonic Boom, boss. Sonic Boom! And our other one that uses sound waves, the Valkyrie. Protein, what's going on? Two minutes and five woof. Minute and 41, wow. All right, well, these two are ready to go, I hope. Um, in fact, let's put them this way at odds with each other. Because, I don't know, it seems like a smart idea. All right. <laughs> Can I sit her on top of the subwoofer? That's pretty good. Got it. And now I can slide this along. 
Whee! Okay. Okay, there's the injection combo done. Yeah, I like that remix. Right on. Okay, so let's look at it. Let's look at what the next combos are. Road Rage and Disease. Oh, I bet I know already what some of the ones for Diseased are going to be. One of them's going to be that creepy Irish doll. Um, one of them's going to be the Mystery Sauce. And I'm not sure what the other one's going to be. I guess we'll find out. In fact, let's see what other things we got. Oh, there's one more item, which is the Book of Darkness. Okay. Bought a pla brought a plague upon all who've owned it. On sale today. Great. That's exactly what we're looking for. Oh, that's so... Ugh, ugh, don't look inside. No, thank you. Two minutes left on this one. And three... Wow. They really start making you spend stickers hard on the end. Ah. Okay. three. Alright, so there's our big wheeled vehicle combo here. Let's see if it works. No rage combo. Oh. That was a big kaboom. Or some noises. Yeah, I suppose. Alright, so while we're doing all that, we've unlocked the final catalog. Make sure your previous catalog has no unpurchased items. I didn't even know that was a rule. Okay, well, means we gotta get the freeze bomb as it is warning us. Gross poisony sauce. We got our gross poisony. This thing. Uh. Oh man. Okay, I gotta be quick about this. I didn't even realize that. All right, all right. Oh, it makes. Oh, I don't like the noises. We gotta keep these things separate when we do this. All right, 20 seconds to go on this one and then I'll just pay whatever's left on this one at the time. stickers for this. The Book of Darkness. 
Looks fine. All right. There we go. Oh, it's some of the disgusting green rain. Yikes! <laughs> You're still not burnt. Go away. I don't, I don't like you. <laughs> Breaking weather report. It's been snowing for as long as anyone can remember. Or maybe our memories are just getting foggy. <laughs> Tomorrow's forecast. Woo Something we haven't seen in a very long time. The sun comes out. But is it rising? Or is it setting? Woo it hurts my eyes. <laughs> Reporting from the weather balloon. Over the smokestacks, over the city, the weatherman. Alright, snow bomb. You even used for anything? I feel as though you may not be, you may just be annoying. We can look at the catalog number seven. Okay. Next up is chain email and then wooden applause. Okay. Laser pointer always points towards destruction. Okay. Okay. I'm a jack hand. Oh wow, you'll get it frosted the whole fireplace. Unbelievable. Alright. Oh, some of these are coming in fairly quick. That's good. Whoa. Alright, I think this is going to be wooden applause, because I don't know how it could be anything else. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so now let's clear the deck. This involves the chainsaw, so we have to be careful. Wouldn't we all love to set pop-up messages on fire? That seems like a fun thing to do. Alright. That takes care of chain email and wooden applause. Hey, we're in the final 20. World adventurer, learning is fun. Glasses and stashes. Okay. Music tones. Okay. I feel like... That should combine with the word blocks, wherever they are. Where are the word blocks? There they are. Hmm. Oh no, I'm barking at the wrong tree with that. Okay, hang on. Burn it all anyway, just for kicks. Hmm. 
Rude. Doom. Hockey. Yeah, that was nothing, but that's okay. We got a letter. <gasps> it's from a mysterious person. Hana Pengu. Pay attention. Hello? Is there anybody there? Oh, wait, hang on. Where's our friend the adventurer? Gentleman adventurer. And friend the world. Because one of these was... World adventurer. Yep. <laughs> yep. Excite. It's coming soon. What's the other one? Yeah. Rocket ship of learning. Oh, wait. Okay, hang on, hang on. I think I know where they're going with this one. And they said this was a flaming globe. Doesn't seem flaming yet. There we go. So, what do you get when you combine a rocket ship of learning and a school bus? I would say you get what is certainly not a normal field trip. At my old school, we never uh, exploded and burst into flames. <laughs> yes, exactly. Ms. Frizzle. Bus couldn't save them this time, though. <laughs> Ms. Frizzle's not a witch. She does all of that stuff through science. if we unlocked fashionable sunglasses a computer worm very nice hang on where's my mini mustache True. Time Lady Ms. Frizzle is a very popular interpretation of the character. I still remember back in the days when Aresia was in person, um, seeing a lot of Aresia cosplayers cosplaying as a version of Ms. Frizzle uh, with, you know, the, the space dress, and then somewhere on the pattern you would see a little TARDIS on there. It was very good. Uh, hang on. Alright, we're almost about to get the sunglasses. Glasses and stashes. That was the one I was looking for. Glasses and stashes. Uh, burning that good facial hair like uh, Wilson or whatever his name is in um, Don't Starve Together. The computer worm. Uh, what else am I working on here? Oh, right, okay. The next one is Before the Internet. One time 
your radio account from before the internet. And so it's easy. Alright, while those are waiting, let's see. Huh? Huh? It's so bright. It hurts to open my eyes. Is the sun rising or is it setting? I stared at it forever, but I could never tell. Rising or setting? It hurts my eyes. Will you send me sunglasses? Not only will I, I will get them express shipped just for you. Message sent. Okay. So we got a radio. Which sadly doesn't work. <laughs> Was that Shades Pengu? I love it. Very good. Okay. Okay, so we got old timey radio, old timey TV. Okay. Round idol. Sleeping idol. There was another one, there's another idol. There we go, a triangle idol. Perfect. <laughs> Computer worm's still hanging in there. Good for it. Well, there we go. Now it's computer butterflies. These are all going to be done at about the same time. I'll let them run. It's only going to be a few seconds. Slowly but surely getting our money back after paying 725 for that other thing. Alright, the idle triumvirate is here. Let's light them up. Oh, that lovely homie. Okay. Uh, what else do we got? Mini Pluto. Buy now before it becomes a planet again. Cheap. Isn't there talk of them actually uh, turning, reclassifying Pluto as a planet again? I heard a rumor about that. Where are my ice cubes? for the stars. I love it. Oh, right. I forgot about this. Like, how cold they are. Well, we'll see what we can do about it. Hang on. Yeah, there's Ice Planet. Hmm. 
Okay. Soul ascended to the heavens, I love it. Heart and soul. <gasps> Such fashionable sunglasses. It seems like I ordered these a long time ago. I thought maybe you forgot. Ah <laughs> shh. I knew you could never forget. Your favorite neighbor. I'm back, but there's something I need to tell you. All right, so we gotta get the last of the combos here. We're getting, we're closing in. There's not many left. What do we got left? 13 or so? Yellow Brick Road, okay. Yellow Brick Road. <laughs> but why would you break that into two letters? Look, she's got a lot on her mind, okay? I don't know if you've noticed how many words she writes on a page sometimes. Sometimes she'll do a page for just an ellipsis. Oh, I get it. I get it. Hang on. Surprisingly, this has nothing to do with that. That's pretty cool. Those bricks are going to burn for a while. <laughs> Lost the page on the plot. Yeah, yeah, fair. We're getting there. Right, what's next after that? Planes and trains. Okay. Come on, come on. Okay, so we've got a scarecrow. Hey, we've got a scarecrow. We've got a tin woodsman. And we've got a cowardly lion. There we go. All right. Sal 
South Pole. I was there before it was cool. I very much doubt it. Oh, I get it. Hang on. Cold metallic family. Our terrible robotic feature. Jeez. when you burn the South Pole. Oh, uh, it snows. That's cute. I'm sick of snow. Groundhog said six more weeks. Which groundhog? I heard some did and some didn't. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm catching up here. Yes. Um, Pukuma, it is by Tomorrow Corporation, the makers of World of Goo and Human Resource Machine and Seven Billion Humans. Um, it is their second game, I think, of those four. All right. So we are closing in on the end if you want to hang out for a little bit longer. Um there are there are a hundred oh, hang on. I'll wait. Yes, cool, cool. Uh hang on. Alright. There's one of the, it's like a cardboard sword, right? I think. Somewhere. Yeah, there's definitely a cardboard sword. I just have to find it in the list. I said it's in the games one? Yeah, here it is. Alright. Alright. So hang on, we get this here. But yeah, no, there's there's 99 official combos and a secret 100th combo. Uh, I've found them all from beating the game before, so I'm just using them. Whoa, jeez. This is interesting. Let's not waste any time here. That thing's bringing all the spiders in. Dang. And hey, that got me right back up to full money. Cool. Okay. We have a note. It's from everybody's favorite. There was a big fire. It was so bright I couldn't open my eyes. It was all around like millions of tiny fireflies. I turned into billions of little pieces and floated away. I floated away up the chimney. Up, up, up. 
like everything else. And I've come back to bring you with me. <laughs> yes, oh, but obviously since we're nearing the end game, if you don't want it spoiled for you, you may want to quit soon because the big ending is coming up, so. Alright, let's see here. Clone factory. Factory. The secret is duplicating the human spirit, which is forcefully injected moments before shipping. Too real. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Good night. That's got 36 seconds left. Let's speed that up. <laughs> Polar bear. You get it. You get it. Alright, now we wait for the cold to pass. getting there. Let's break up those eyes a bit, because yep. Okay, and what else can we make? Sausage factory we're gonna do. Book club, okay, hang on. Creation science. The book of darkness. And I bet the terrible secret will be the last one, we'll see. Seven seconds left on that one. Those both have some time. I'll put that down there. This is about to be done. Then I will grab the other books to order. Terrible secret. Nice. Okay. So let's burn these two up. Oh, there go the clones. the terrible secret last by a mile and it still was the first one done. How do you like that? Okay, hang on. I'm not wearing that long for this. Alright. Let's clear the deck. I throw the books on. I'm pretty sure I got that right. Let's see here. Yep. A 
what a terrible combination that is. Horrible corrosive rain, disease, and flowers. Alright. Spam Cloud is next. Internet Cloud and email. Almost certainly. Oh, but while I'm at it, the next one is online piracy. Creepy, yes indeed. Alright. Okay, how long we got left? Five. That's a lot. Okay, hang on. I'll wait till that gets down to five stickers, I think. Those kind of superimpose themselves over each other. Ah, right, here we go. Internet cloud. Very good. Back up to full money and almost full stickers. Okay, let's see. <laughs> yeah, you've got mail indeed. And it's on fire. The it's a sign combo. Ah, here we go. This way down sign. And railroad sign. Alright, so while those are loading, let's see what's in. <gasps> Do you remember? Flaming logs and robots? And sausages and tiny galaxies? And batteries and squealing bugs? An exploding solar system. We threw them in the fire for hours and days. But they don't matter. They were designed to not matter. Little Inferno Entertainment Fireplace was designed to not matter. It's time. It's time to burn down your house. It's almost time to burn down your house. Two minutes and 13 seconds? That's a long time. I'll wait away the 30 seconds, and in the meantime, I'll work on the next thing, so. Sunflower, okay. Miniature sun, very nice. All right. We're gonna stack up a whole bunch of them to do all right in a row in a minute. Hmm. Oh, right, there we go. Haha! -ha! That's fun. Alright, so there's the Insta sign now. Okay. Alright, so once this is clear, we're going to stack up for almost all of the remaining combos.
So that's the last one. That one's almost done. Good. So there's the moon. Seeds. I'm gonna throw Pluto in maybe last? Because there's a couple more things we need to get. So one is the fashionable sunglasses. One is the magnet. One is the, oh, hang on. Some of this stuff's gotta go in first. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, hang on. So we're all about to get the sunglasses in here. That's cool. How's our sun doing? Wow, almost done. Hang on. Alright, so this should knock out everything left if we do it all together. So now we throw in Pluto over here. Throw in the exterminator. And finally the sun. There we go. Sunflower combo. Future so bright combo. Hang on. Did you get the other part of it? Or no? Oh, it may not have. Okay, hang on. So we gotta do part of it again. Uh, toy exterminator. Magnet. Sunglasses. Oh, I forgot the jar of fireflies. That's what I forgot. Hang on. Alright. Oh, I gotta open the letter first. Hang on. It's time to go. Do you remember? Some things are more special than other things. There are four objects. One, two, three, four. There is something special about them. Do you remember? Burn them together. It's time. Oh, there goes that sun. All right, hang on. <laughs> what? Okay, so now. In order, the things that Sugar Plumps asked for, if you remember every time that she asked for an item, the first thing she asked for was a magnet. And we can see the magnet has an effect on that thing in the wall. The jar of fireflies. Hang on. Eh. Trying to put them close together. It's not gonna stay. Oh, it did stay. Okay, awesome. Um, the toy exterminator, the pet exterminator. And the sunglasses. 
One, two, three, four. You already gave them to me. You sent me each object. I never even had to turn around. Burn them together. It's time. Ah, shoot. Kind of forced my hand a little there. Here we go! Welcome to the end game. Error, error, error combo. You were waiting for the thing to open its eyes the whole game. Nice. Very good. Alright. But yes, Anarchist Catalog. That's very cute. <laughs> hey you! Special delivery! <laughs> I just found out I exist. Who are you? Don't worry. Just a friendly neighborhood mailman making the rounds. We're all going to be fine. And what was your address again? I have no idea. Yes, your home address appears to have been recently... Oh. Delisted. Are you moving? Don't forget to file a change of address form with your local post office. One moment while I find your letter. I know it's here somewhere. You smell familiar? Oh, well I've delivered, let's see... 371 packages and letters directly to your house. Each package and letter are placed right there, right beside you. Right beside the fire. You never even had to turn around. Excellent discreet service. On time delivery. Through snow or rain. But mostly snow. It's been getting colder lately, hasn't it? Aha! Here's your letter. I'm sure it will keep you warm. Salutations, sincerely, all the best, kind regards, goodbye. We're all going to be fine. Oh, hey. <laughs> Ooh, it's so bright. Are you still there? Remember a long time ago? You and me and the wall between us. We threw things in the fire for hours and days. It was so warm. Like a bug in a mug in a hug. We thought we'd never run out of toys. We thought we'd never run out of time. Where did they all go? <laughs> up, up the chimney like everything else. Oh! There's something I wanted to tell you. Did you know? I didn't burn up. The house burned down, and then I left. 
just like you. There's a whole world out there. You can go as far as you want, but you can never go back. What? I'm at the beach, getting a great tan. Okay, thanks for the sunglasses. I can't believe how fabulous I look. Your friend, SP. Oh, it's the same letter, sorry, hang on. Nothing creepy about this at all. <laughs> but what does it mean? <laughs> yes, welcome. The gates are secure. You probably shouldn't be outside. <laughs> used to be a bus driver, I know. Hey, what's that shadowy building back there? Oh, um, ahem. <clears throat> welcome to... Tomorrow Corporation! The future is tomorrow! What does Tomorrow Corporation do? You might recognize such Tomorrow Corporation toys as Fisty's Gem Pop, or My Childhood The Game, or Little Inferno Entertainment Fireplace. You look like you might be a fan of one of those three. All covered in soot there. When you, will you open those scary gates so I can go inside? <laughs> can I open those scary gates? My one single job, the only job I was hired to do, the one thing I do better than anybody else, is open those gates. So if you're going to ask, ask again with drama. Will you open the gates so I can go inside, please? And... What? Think of the drama! This is the moment you pass through the gates! What's in that building? You could find a room that glows as bright as the sun! Or you could find an elevator that only moves up! Or you could find a monster with a heart of gold! Or a fantastic summer internship! But whatever is through those gates, you'll never be able to not know again. So, once again, with feelings, Gotta borrow some from uh, Hanna Pengu there. Gate operator, open the gates! Ahaha! Nimble fingers, here we go! Stand back! Let's see what happens this time! <laughs> right. No! This is what we came here for. Yes, we are in the end game now. There's a little more dialogue, but basically this is the end of the game. Corporate brainwashing, and that's their third game, Human Resource Machine. Um, Tomorrow Corporation. I think that receptionist is in Human Resource Machine, in fact. Yes, welcome to Kamara Tomorrow Corporation. How may I direct your call? One, more great information about Tomorrow Corporation. Two, complaints and lawsuits regarding Little Inferno Entertainment Fireplace. Three, speak to an operator. Yes, Tomorrow Corporation. The future is tomorrow. It's also on our website. Please go there. Yes, thank you. Please provide the following. Your home warranty alphanumeric product code. 
your 16-digit personal customer identification confirmation validation number, your Little Inferno certificate of authenticity you received with your product, literally the first thing you burned. You'll need to fax those materials to the number listed on our website. God. I didn't know I was going to be doing my day job here. <laughs> I don't have a fax machine. I don't think anybody does. Also, my house burned down. Yes, I will wait for your fax. Thank you. I'd like to speak to an operator, please. Zero, zero, zero. Yeah, please hold. Hello. How may I help you today? What are you writing there? Yes, this communication may be recorded for quality or evaluation purposes. It looks like you're writing more words than you were saying. Yes, I'm writing a novel in the other window. In each brief pause between each word. Your multitasking skills are excellent. Yes, thank you. What's your novel about? Is yes, my novel is a smoldering work, a mystery, a romance, a forbidden affair, a murder, a heart burns. It's pretty much an autobiography. What's your book called? Yes, my novel is called Smokestacks Over Burnington. Fuck, I'd read that. A thrilling follow-up to my last novel, The Terrible Secret. What is the terrible secret? Yes, it is terrible. How may I help you today? Can I go up that elevator? Yes, thank you for your request, but the elevator is for authorized Tomorrow Corporation employees only. May I use the restroom? Yes, the restroom is just up that elevator. Okay, thanks, bye. Yes, thank you for querying Tomorrow Corporation. Remember, the future is tomorrow. Okay, after that dose of realness, Uh, yeah, I don't do as much else at the time anymore. Anymore. I did write most of my Stop That Moon characters while working. Don't tell my boss. That was many years ago. Uh, Alright. Hair is uncooperative, but what can you do? This, by the way, is very much the aesthetic of Human Resource Machine as well. Look at all these, look at all these familiar icons. Hey, there's Miss Nancy. Oh, welcome. Oh, it looks so cold out there. How long has it been snowing? Oh, it's been snowing for as long as I can remember. And it's been getting colder. Every day colder than the day before. That can't last forever. Oh, but it's beautiful, isn't it? What can't last forever? Can you see down there? Look as far as you can. Everything you see, the whole city, it's slowing down. And then one day, it will stop, frozen, like a family photo. Haha, <laughs> awesome, you're terrifying. I'm glad we're friends. Bold of you to assume that you're friends. Uh, that's horrible. Shouldn't we do something? Oh, it's nobody's fault. We can't control the weather. Oh, yes, I'm Miss Nancy. Welcome. Have you enjoyed yourself? If everything is freezing, why doesn't everyone leave? You burned down your house! And you left! Where will you go next? You can go as far as you like. But you can't go back. And you can't come with me. Oh yes, yes I built this company. I hope Little Inferno kept you nice and toasty warm. <laughs> that last option though. Yeah, I, I was tempted, but it's not... Not me. Uh, my house burned down. Yes, Tomorrow Corporation regrets any inconvenience that may have caused. You look like you could use a hug. Oh, do you remember? 
I sent you a coupon good for one free hug a long time ago. Did you bring it? No, I burned the coupon for one free hug. Oh dear, you burned it? I hope it kept you warm. Mm. So are you leaving too? Oh yes, I've just finished packing. You're just in time. I've been here too long and I'm not getting any younger. Although I do look fantastic for my age. There was so much more I wanted to do. Where did all the time go? This feels like a Doctor Who episode to me. Oh, it's easy to forget. I remember when I wanted to be an astronaut and explore the cosmos and compose a symphony and dive to the bottom of the ocean and discover lost cities and build new cities and become a model. But before you know it, gonna burn your house down too. Yeah, um, oh god, what's the, what's the specific Doctor Who episode it feels like? Gridlock. Gridlock is the one it feels like, where everybody's stuck on the highway forever. Oh, haha! -ha. What should you do when you've already got everything you ever dreamed? I don't know. What should you do when you've already got everything you've ever dreamed? Dream bigger! Okay, thank you for stopping by. Oh, it's been a pleasure. It's time. It's time. Mm -hmm. Hey, get back here. Whoa. Indeed. Oh, hello. Oh, hey, six counts rating. Wow, that's a lot of people. Oh, man. All right. So, hello, everyone. Uh, you are coming in at the very end of Little Inferno. Uh, so, spoilers ahoy, they're all over the place, this is, you know, you're well past the end. Um, so turn back if you don't want to see what happens after you've blown up your house in Little Inferno. <laughs> well, I wonder what we do now that, uh, Miss Nancy has escaped in her missile. Yes, thank you for querying tomorrow, Corporation. <laughs> yes, Hana, thank you for thanking Six Card for me. Yes, and Six Card, thank you verbally for me. <sighs> Remember, the future is tomorrow. Welcome to. Oh, how can I help you? Never mind. Have you tried going that way, that way over there, where my fingers are pointing, to the right? It turns out, there's a whole world out there. Yep, welcome to the horrible crap sack world that everybody burning everything in their fireplaces for entertainment has wrought. Do you get it now? Well, breaking weather forecast, a clear horizon, as far as the eye can see. Are you ready to go? Why wouldn't I be able to go? Yeah, I'm 
Ready? Wow, we! Here we go! Just close your eyes, walk forward, and believe! <laughs> really? I just walk off the edge of this big scary cliff and believe? Okay, here I go. Whoo-wee! Hey there, kid! Haha, <laughs> just kidding! It's all sharp rocks and sharks down there! And yow, that's a long fall! I can take you up, up, up out of the city, but then you're on your own. You can go as far as you like, but you'll have to pay as you go. And you can never go back. Are you sure you're ready? Yes, I'm sure I'm ready. Breaking weather forecast! The sun is so big you can almost touch it! This is the beginning of something brilliant! Reporting from the weather balloon, over the smokestacks, over the city, good night! <laughs> it is a trap. Yes. Well, sort of. Yes and no. I mean, the whole world's a trap. So... It's probably better than where you came from. At least it's on your own terms. <laughs> That's it? Yeah, I mean, like, a lot happened before now, but, you know. Oh. <laughs> Games, what? I mean, I think there's a little more in the credit sequence, but that's pretty much it. I mean... Wait, that indie games are supposed to be longer than AAA games? Well, no, that wouldn't make any sense, right? Because, like, how would they have the budget to inflate playtime that long? And besides, Tomorrow Corporation games aren't made to be super long. They're made to be super interesting, which this one certainly was. But it is a weird ending. It's a weird ending for a weird game, right? So... But the most important thing of all... The most important thing of all is that Sugar Plumps got a happy ending. I think we can all agree on that. So, yeah. Yeah, and you can do the ending again if you want to this way, but I just wanted to get to this so that I could get to this. All right. So the title screen is a little loud, so I'm going to leave it on this screen before I exit. Um, but yes, so I'm very glad that I was able to share the journey that uh, the main character and Sugar Plumps go on together as they discover all the weirdness that is their world that they live in and the horrible, horrible dystopian weather apocalypse that has come upon, uh, upon them. But they can go forward and they can never go back. So, um, yes. So thank you to everybody who's here. Thank you for the people who showed up from the beginning. Thank you to the people who raided. I appreciate all of you. It's been awesome. Uh, and I will hopefully be back uh, I don't know, maybe doing something tomorrow? I don't know, but definitely uh, Ring Fit on Sunday and Monday, and then uh, Late Night Kindness on Tuesday, uh, and who knows after that? We'll see. But uh, I will now exit out of the stream and bid you all good night. Stay safe, stay warm. Remember, you can never go back.